Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. We're going to dive right into talking about selling a house on a wrap where you become the mortgage company. We're going to talk about all that and more today. I hope you enjoy it. Jump right in. What is a wrap? When we say we're, we're when we say wrap, we are generally referring to us creating a mortgage and selling that mortgage to a buyer. Selling that property along with a mortgage that we have created. So if Jonathan sells me a house for a hundred thousand dollars. And I get a loan on that house at a 4% interest rate. And I buy that house from Jonathan. And Brandon wants to buy a new house, but he can't get approved by for a regular loan because he's an entrepreneur. Even though the guy makes $200,000 a year, he can't get approved on for a loan because He's not showing that he makes $200,000 a year because all his money is running through his business. I can underwrite Brandon and I could say, Brandon, I'll give you a mortgage on this house I just bought from Jonathan for $125,000 at 8.5% interest. I just took a loan that I bought. I bought a property from Jonathan on a mortgage that I went and got. I put my own new mortgage on top of that mortgage and we wrap them together like a Christmas present. Then I sell that whole package to Brandon. That's a wrap. Now, here's the thing. I want you to know something about wraps. Wraps is the most profitable strategy in single family real estate. The most profitable. Because not only am I making $25,000, I bought a house for a hundred. I'm selling it to Brandon for 125. We're going to tax Brandon a little bit because he's a penalty box buyer, which means he can't go to Wells Fargo and get a loan. So we're going to charge him a little bit more. We're also going to charge top of the market interest. So we're going to make $25,000 on our purchase price between the hundred and the 125. But we're also going to be making about $400 a month in just interest for the life of the, of the loan until Brandon refinances us or pays us off. So not only do we make profit just like a flip, right? So I could have flipped that house. Let's say I just went and cleaned it up. And, I, and because I cleaned it up, because I got such a good deal from Jonathan, I wholetailed that property. I fixed one broken window. I cut the grass. I trimmed the, sh the shrubs. I sent a maid crew out there to make it smell wonderful, to get all the, the nasty stuff out. Now this house is shining, right? I spent $6,000 to do that. I turn around and sell it to Brandon, and he brings a loan. He gets a loan. I sell it to Brandon for 125. Okay. I make $19,000. Does everybody understand that? I make 19,000. I bought it for a hundred. I spent it. I, I sell it for 125 and I spent six. 19 grand in my pocket. I flipped it. But if I sell it to Brandon on a wrap. Okay. First of all, I might not even have to clean it up and fix the window. He might be, he might want a house so bad that he's like, don't do anything. I'll take it just like it is. Number one, I may not have to spend six grand, but let's say I do. So the examples match. Okay. I'm going to make the 19,000 and I'm probably going to make that on day one. Brandon's going to bring me a $25,000 deposit. So I'm going to make my 25 grand my 19,000 in profit the day I close. But because I'm giving him a mortgage, I'm also going to be making the interest on the terms of the mortgage month after month after month after month after month. 
Let's say I give Brandon a five-year balloon or a seven-year balloon. On average, people refinance out of a wrap between year five and seven. But I can make $400 a month in this example for five freaking years. Do you understand why when you sell on a wrap, your profit is so much higher? We use an escrow service company or a note servicing company who drafts Brandon's account and who pays all the bills. They pay the insurance. They pay the taxes. Okay. It's escrow, just like any mortgage that anybody has. The note servicing company is the one who divvies up all that money, keeps track of the escrow and pays all the bills. They draft Brandon's account. They pay all the bills, including my underlying mortgage and including me, that extra money. And it is a requirement that the buyer uses an escrow service company. It is a requirement written inside of my mortgage. And if he doesn't, that's grounds for me to foreclose on the property and take it back. Well, what other types of financing can you wrap? The better question is, what type of financing can you not wrap? I can get a loan from a DSCR lender and I can sell the property on a wrap, period. Absolutely 100%. Two, can I get a loan from Wells Fargo, a traditional mortgage, and can I rewrap it at a higher interest rate and resell it to another person? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Three, can I go to a commercial bank and get a five-year arm, adjustable rate mortgage, and can I sell that on a wrap? Yes, I can wrap all of those. Four, I've got a I've got a tired landlord who has a property paid off. I negotiate a seller finance purchase of that property. Can I sell that on a wrap? All of those can be wrapped. There's almost no financing that can't be wrapped. It is a wonderful, amazing strategy. It is the most highest profit strategy. You will make more money selling on wraps than anything else. Let me give you an example. I've got two houses right now that are both bringing me $450 a month net. One of them's in Walker. One of them's in Central. The one in Walker is a rental property. It cost me about $20,000 in the last two years to upkeep that property because the air conditioner broke, some stuff happened to the house. I've kicked out at least two tenants and had to repaint it, which one time, one of the repaints was eight grand by itself. Now oh, I'm, oh, I'm making $450 a month net woo, on that property, right? But it's costing me. Now I'm gaining over time my tenants are paying down that mortgage and I'm gaining wealth, right? One day that house is going to be paid off and I will have all of that value will be mine. I will get to resell that house for all of that value. Let's say $250,000, right? Great. That's why, that's why rentals build wealth because somebody else is basically just making you money every month that that thing is 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 being paid down but i have another property i'm bringing in 450 dollars a month i sold on a wrap i am a mortgage company when i sell on a wrap those people don't call me when the thing breaks when a limb falls out the house and pokes a hole in the roof they're not calling me i'm the bank i'm the mortgage company so I'm making that same, I'm making 450 over here, but I got to fix everything. I got to deal with it. I've got property manager, all this stuff, right? This one over here, I'm making 450 every month and I got nothing to do. It just comes in the bank every month. It just, it just keeps on coming, right? Not only that, my equity, I, we do what's called forced appreciation forced depreciation, which means I sold the property for a higher value than what it was actually worth because I had a penalty box buyer. 
So I probably could have sold that. Let's say I could have sold that house for $135,000 on the open market. Well, I actually sold it for $165,000 because of a penalty box buyer bought it, right? I've got $51,000 of equity still sitting in that house. Whenever those people refinance, all that's coming to me. So I'm making $450 a month. I don't got to fix toilets. I don't got to worry about the grass, the fence, the nothing, nothing, no problems. None of those problems are mine. And they're going to refinance. They're on a five-year balloon. So they've got up to five years to refinance me. And when they do, $51,000 of equity is all coming to me. Thank you for listening to this episode. If you're ready to level up your real estate investing journey, go over to 90upchallenge.com. 90upchallenge.com, where we offer online courses, group coaching, and one-on-one coaching. We hope to see you there.